Hi and welcome back. Today I have another jelly printing video and the reason is that I made a little tech journal where I used some of the prints I'm making today and I thought it's clever to show the prints first and make the video with the tag journal next week. So here you see me stamping directly to my jelly plate. I'm using Stazon ink for that and I'm using one of my sketchy flower stamps. Stazon ink dries very quickly so you don't need to wait a long time before you go on top with the acrylic paints. Usually the ink is dry during the time I'm searching for the right colors. I've never done this before and when you see me doing it here I had no idea how this will turn out and yeah you will see. I just picked different colors that I thought would match perfectly together. Um, you have to take a little bit care that you don't mix them too much, um, otherwise you will create mud. The first print was not my favorite, if I remember that right, but you will see how it turns out and I give you some tips how this technique works best. And here you can see that I don't have many of the stamping on my background and the reason is that I've added way too much of the acrylic paint. So in the next round I'm adding a much more thinner layer. I give it a good press to make sure that I will get everything of my stamped images off from the plate onto my print. The paper I'm using is a 120 GSM printer paper. And here is the print. I really love how this turned out. For my next print I'm using the same ink and the same stamp. This time I make sure that I don't add such a thick layer of paint. I try to keep it thin. It's the same with the pan pastels when you do printing with them. You also only need a thin layer of acrylic paint otherwise the print will not turn out very nice. 
I will link up the video where I'm using the pan pastels for jelly printing in the upper right corner info box. And this print turned out really pretty, I think. I'm very sorry for the reflection of my light. Um, I didn't see this while I was filming, but I will make a flip through all the prints I've done today at the end of this video, so you can um, see it there. For my next print, I decided to use the black ink just to see how this turns out. Of course, you can just stamp the images to your jelly prints, but it gives you a different look. It just looks more grungy and more junky and it's more unpredictable and I think that makes it interesting. And here I tried a different stamp combination. I used insects from the Inky Friends stamp set and I just used the black ink again. If you want to see more jelly printing videos, I will link up the last two I've made. Um, they are pretty new and I give some more information about the paints I'm using. If you need some inspiration what to do with your jelly prints, there will be a video linked up at the end of this video. And I also posted a lot of um, sample images over on my Instagram page. You will find the link in the video description.
this print turns out pretty nice but I think it's a bit boring because of that plain background and I will try to add some texture to the next print. But this technique stamping on the jelly plate is a great way to create a mirror stamping. So if you want to create a scene on a card with a sea or with a water where something is mirrored in, you can use your jelly plate to get a mirror image of your stamp. This time I add the paint only to the left side and then I use another stamp to create some texture. As there is so much paint on the left side, I want to pick some of it off so that um, I will get a good print of the insects later. And therefore I just press a sheet of paper down, but I do this very lightly to not um, pick up everything from my plate. So my insects are all still on the plate with some leftover paint and this paint will give me some interesting texture for the next print. And these are the images I am using in my tag journal and that's the reason why I decided to edit the video um, after I've edited this one. So you have the chance to uh, play along and to also create a journal or maybe just an art journal page with the prints you're making. And here I'm giving it a very good press because I want to have everything on my print. And I think this print turned out so pretty. I love the grungy style and I think this is a really gorgeous print.
Here I picked one of my pencil mark stamps, the one I've used before with the waves was also from the pencil mark stamp set, but I will link all the stamps I'm using in the video description. Here I'm using the same technique that I've used before. I just use the paint on half of my jelly plate and then create some texture with a stamp. And again, I'm taking this off very lightly. And I really like how this print turned out. I will do this technique definitely more often. That was my last print for today. You will now see a flip through all the prints I've made today. And I'm starting already with one where I've cut out one of the images already for the tag journal. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you are inspired now to take out your jelly plate. And then we will see us next time. Bye!